MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Jordan, you've recently bought this Fanuc Robo Drill here at James Camden Engineering. I think what's really interesting is you're, you've not bought this machine just for production machining, have you? No, it's, it's literally just for um, creating really good, accurate parts. So what we need is a really reliable, super accurate machine that we could work to really high tolerances and um, it would it would be reliable and consistent. So, that so and when I say production against, this is like you, you're doing one offs and two offs, you don't know what's coming through the door from day to day. No, yeah, it changes every day and we do really low volume, really small batches, one offs, two offs, 10 offs. It, it never gets more than you know 20 or, or so, so. And talk me through what you're actually doing in here on this machine at the moment. So what we're actually doing at the minute is we're thread milling a really unusual thread that um, not only was it difficult to locate taps for, they were very expensive and there was about a six week lead time and we just we couldn't um, wait that long. Um, and the original product then, is, it, is this a machine part, is this a 3D printed part, what is it? Yeah, so what it is, is it's a 3D printed steel part. So you might have seen like a lot of the plastic printers around with, in, in industry, this is actual metal DMLS 3D printing. So what uh, they're doing is they're creating, they're taking the CAD data, they're, create, they're printing a part, but what they do is they leave on stock material because it, it's not as accurate yet as machining. So what we do on the robo drill is we will machine all of the features that they need to have in the part to be reliable and to be um, accurate. So you get the finished part as a 3D printed product and then you're doing the, the drilling and the tapping on this machine? Yes, yeah, all on this machine, yeah. So how do you go about the, getting the, making sure you're in the correct position to drill and tap? Because I believe you, you set it up and let it go, is that correct? Yeah, so what we do is what we'll, um, we ask them to print, because they print on a platform, we ask them to print a reference block on the platform that is relative to the orientation of the parts. So what we'll do is we'll probe, use a Marpos probe on the machine to find the position. And then from the CAD, we can go from the reference point to the first point, and then that, that's the start point of the... the and, and, and this isn't about speed, is it? This is about making sure you get a quality product off the machine. Yeah, that's all it is. It's about working to extremely high tolerances. That's it. We, can't, we couldn't do it before on our old conventional machines, whereas this machine we can. And, and that would lead me into saying that this is your first sort of full CNC VMC, isn't it? Yeah, it's the first one. And your experience so far with Fanet? Really good, actually. Um, I really like all the guys who work there. The applications guy is fantastic. The service guy, I really got on with, he's brilliant. And um, Nigel as well, the, the salesperson, he's a really nice bloke. They come in every now and then, they check up on us, which is great, really, because we've had other machines and they drop the machine off and then they never, you don't see them again. Whereas the Fanet guys, they, every week or so, they're popping in and asking how we are and giving us advice. and. And, and telling us what to do. You know, so. so it would be fair to say that this machine was sold to you with, with an applications solution as well as the machine? Yeah, that, it, was, it was mainly, and we weren't even looking to get a machine, what, but we had a problem that we were trying to solve the old way, and we spoke to Nigel and he said that there's these new VMCs that, that can do that. Because we, had the, we were, had the misconception that CNC meant batch or production, and it's not necessarily the case. If you want hot, super accurate parts, even in a tall room like this, um, BMC is the way to go. This is one of the reasons we're here to explore this, Jordan, because a lot of, a lot of engineers in the UK will look at a Fanuc robo drill and think it's production, it's, it's component, volume components, but that's not the case, is it? No, definitely not. And the, the most misleading thing is the robo drill. It's not a drilling, tapping machine. It's a fully fledged BMC, and it's extremely, you know, extremely capable. I mean, we've only got um, 2.5 axis free with a with cam, but you can have a five axis table on there, and it it would compete with a lot of the bigger BMCs.